Oh. My favorite artist. Nick Jonas. Taylor Swift. Hey, this is Rihanna. I'm Ed Sheeran. Hey, guys, this is Bruno Mars, and you're listening to KJ and Kirby on My 96. Hey, I always love when uh, you guys suggest things that we should talk about on the show. I think it's great. I mean, usually it's a free speech Friday thing, but hey, you know, anytime. It's all good. If there's something going on that uh, that you think deserves our attention, send it to us. Facebook it to us. Tweet it to us. It's all good. We always get lots of things like that uh, all the time. But when I got this one, uh, I was a little, I don't know, put off. And I know Kirby was as well, based on her comments on my page, uh, uh, I guess, two days ago. Yes, I know where you're going with this. All right, so check this story out, guys. And this is true. This happened this past weekend. Nikki says via Facebook, quote, I was absolutely dumbfounded when I went golfing at a local golf course this past weekend. And the jerks in front of us chased a family of geese. Then proceeded to pick up a little gosling and separate it from the rest of his uh, rest of the family. It was disgusting. I was I was surprised that the geese didn't attack the guy. It was actually four men in their twenties. Uh, we called the pro shop, but the guy was by himself there, so he couldn't leave it all. Uh, I did email the golf course and was informed that uh, these guys probably won't be able to get carts anymore due to the other disrespectful things that they apparently did that day. But my heart broke as they chased these animals, and then one guy comes back from the bushes holding a gosling. That's what Nikki has to say. Kirby (laughs) says something to the effect of, and I don't have the quote in front of me, but Kirby said, I would have fixed that problem with a nine iron to the face. That's pretty much what I said, yes. Okay. I just don't understand why people feel the need to just be S disturbers. You know what I mean? Like, do you just wake up in the morning and, and say, I'm going to be a D-bag today. That's what I'm going to be. And and this is my thing. And, and the only reason I say this is because now that little gosling will not probably live because when it's separated from its mother at that age, the mother, anytime a human interacts with an animal, the mother basically separates from well, it. Every species is different. Yeah. But, um, okay, you know, yes, I take issue with the dummies, right? I take issue with them. And quite frankly, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure there was a little bit of liquor flowing in that golf cart, if you know what I'm saying, right? I take issue with them. And I take issue with them. But, like, you're, you're, you're trying to solve this problem with an email? You know, I would, you're have confr- trying, I would have confronted these you're, people. You're trying to solve yeah. this problem by, by, by reaching out to a DJ. You know what I mean? Like that's and I and like I say, I encourage people to bring this to my attention. But let me let me make it even more clear to everyone listening: this situation is solved by actually getting off your tail feathers and doing something. I think what, what happened here, though, obviously it just resonated with this person and they just felt the need to, to get it off their chest because they were annoyed. I mean, we, we, all, we all see stuff. I mean, I see you post things all the time that you, you see and you witness that you're upset with after the fact. You didn't do anything at the time about it, but you, you're allowed to vent about it. Okay, in a situation like this where there's a little animal in distress. Oh, yeah, I get uh, it. Uh, you know what? I would have had no trouble going up one against four in this situation. You know, like there's no, there's, 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 I, and, and, and say I do get pummeled. I'll wear that pummeling with pride if that's the case. If I did it protecting a little, you know, innocent goose. I will take that. I'm not even the animal activist of the show. Yeah, but I can't I would really do, see but I would you do that. doing that, but I mean. Uh, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Drunken idiots. Come on. Like, it's seriously. See, I, I think a lot of people would just blindly turn turn their heads to that whole situation because, I mean, it's. So you see people do stupid stuff all the time. And I mean, mm. it's, uh, yeah, it's one of those things that you just shake your head. But I mean, oh my gosh, if that was me, if that was me, I probably wouldn't be sitting here because I'd probably be in jail. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> so okay, my, my take on it, uh, kind of in closing, all right, uh, to simply ban these guys from renting a golf cart again. That's not going to fix the problem. It's so, it's so un, it's, it's just so imbalanced in terms of any kind of punishment whatsoever. You right? I guess not even that's not even a slap on the wrist. That's a now now boys. Yeah. Be nice next time. You know? I don't know. I mean they should be they should be banned from the course for the year, for the rest of the year. And if they have a membership, they have to forfeit that membership. I have a lifetime ban. 
Yeah, what did you do course. for that? How many geese did you chase? I didn't chase any geese. I just I I tipped a golf cart and made a sandcastle in the in the sand bunker. I was a little intoxicated. So. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm not allowed back there for my entire life. So, so it, like I don't understand how these guys can can get away with not having a ban of some sort. Apparently some lax rules at some local golf courses apparently. I don't know. I mean, I would think that chasing a goose and and uh handling the little babies might be you know, cause for a little bit more than just not being able to rent a cart for a little while, but still. All right, there you go. KJ Kirby Show. Text us your thoughts at 458-3961. You go and chase geese on a golf course and you go and pick up some of the little goslings? What kind of punishment would be worthy of something like that? Text us your thoughts on that. The KJ Kirby Show Live. Welcome. (laughs) 